So look, bro. Um, cheaters. With these episodes, I ain't did them in a minute. You know what I'm saying? And it's not no reason. First off, because this shit hurt. And y'all know I can't be fake with y'all. So therefore, um, like the day before yesterday, I went to the dentist, bro. And the way they did my tooth, it's like I can't even open my mouth all the way without it hurting. But then sometimes y'all going to just see me talk regular. Like, bro, even though it hurt, I got a job to do. You know what I'm saying? I got videos and I don't want to be talking like this the whole time. Y'all can barely hear what I'm saying. Even though I don't be caring, but dang, how you gonna do a video and you don't know what he, you know what I mean? Another thing, though. Uh, my podcast is finally on Apple Music, Spotify. Um, yeah, y'all get over there. Even though I got the, uh, I got the YouTube channel with the podcast, with the Soul Look Bro podcast. It's on Apple and Spotify. Link in the description right now. To all you joggers out there, y'all be at work. Y'all got long drives. Mess with me, bro. Y'all got me popping on YouTube, and I honestly believe I could have the number one podcast on Apple and Spotify. Just being real with you, you know what I'm saying? These cheater episodes right here, I like these because they raw. They ain't got no problem with following, uh, with following the, look, with these cheaters episodes, you could be up in Applebee's. They come in there with the whole camera crew, with your baby daddy or husband, whoever it is, they gonna catch you up, bro, and I love real TV. So they be hilarious to me. You know what I'm saying? Other than that, I ain't finna hold y'all no longer. And all for real, everybody got to look. Most of y'all got iPhones. Y'all watch this on iPhone now. Go to that purple app in your phone because they automatically come on the phone. Go to my podcast, rate my videos, follow that link. You know, Spotify, do the same thing. Ghost gang type shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I ain't finna hold y'all no longer, though. This, uh, this cheaters right here that cheaters can provide insight into her obfuscated activities. Anybody know that when they're dealing with some person, when things starting to change just as well as a female do, they think we don't pay attention, but it is. Is that a line? A tattoo, a haircut, or a scar in the back of his head? I can barely tell, but sure would. I honestly think this is like a female thing. You call cheaters, man. I think my husband is cheating. But if you a dude calling cheaters, bro, I don't. <laughs> if I if it if it get that bad, bro, I'ma just dip straight up. I ain't finna have nobody follow you. Then lose my money after I pay them. Then I leave. Bro. Like, no, that's lost money, bro. What the hell? Do right. Some of us out here that do, you know what I'm saying? So just as well as a woman, how they do this and how they do that, it's different maneuvers. I understand, bro, hurt, and I know it's not like a fashion commercial. It's not a barbershop get down or whatever the case, but at the same time, why is it a line like this, like this, like this, and like this? That look like some stairs, bro. And he came out, and he knew he was going to be on Cheater, so he specifically got his hair cut for that. Like, that's not in. I don't know who told you, like, bro, this going to be lit. It's not. At all. That's different, like, you know, strategies that I noticed that you were doing, you're not following that guideline anymore. Every time I call, you just ain't got no, you, you ain't answering, or either if every time I call, I'm tired, or, you know what I'm saying, how I'm going out with my homegirl Michelle and them. That's usually the signs. Even though I, I'm, I'm, I'm not better than nobody, but... I got the luxury, and I would, I, I, I'm blessed enough to not have no female ever cheat on me or ever leave. You know what I'm saying? Leave me, and you know what I mean? But at the same time, if I was in that position, every time I could, like, I'm your man. Every time I call you busy, you don't want to call me before you go to sleep, and I'm not the first person you call when you wake up. I don't want to be with you. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. Even if I don't want to talk to you, I'm waiting on your phone calls. <laughs> Even if I'm mad at you, I'm still waiting on your phone calls, bro. Straight up, man. You up here trying Y'all would have to walk out of her life and walk into another one <laughs> real quick. Or, well, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, Taco Tuesday. <laughs> all the time? Yeah, every club, you every weekend. You something about you going out to home, girl, Michelle. I ain't never seen a Michelle, man. I'm sorry, man. You saw my mama ain't raising no food, man. I ain't got time to be chasing no woman or chasing no woman that's claiming then why that you she is cheaters? a real woman or chasing a person that's claiming they grown. 
If you're grown, you already know what you're supposed to do when it comes to certain situations, man. But like my mama said, in due time, <laughs> a person would prove their inner self. Mama's boy, at least he's And listened. I believe that. If you suspect infidelity in your relationship, Cheater's Detective Man, Agency may be able to provide you assistance. Exercise your right to be informed. Investigate Exercise your right to be informed. We ain't, man. If y'all suspect they cheating, I can understand a little investigation because you probably be tripping and y'all want to be like, uh, yeah, I was up here just assuming and I let her over some assumptions. She was just talking to her brother. But if you got to go to where you got to hire people and all that, bro, just leave. Like, just leave. It is not that serious. I probably. And then, and, and some of y'all pay all this money, catch them cheating, and Teresa, then get right back with age 30, hell wrong with a you? clerk accused of placing her fidelity Trip. file in the outbox. Investigation day two. After a full day without discernible evidence of impropriety, cheaters' operatives settle in at the suspect's residence. The prospect of a quiet night is disrupted once the suspect, identified only as Teresa, walks out of the darkness and... Theresa. <laughs> That's all she is, bro. She up in there slick, look like she's about to rob some shit. And she ain't even going over there, bro. She walking through them apartments with all black just so she can get some pipe. That's not her boyfriend. And to you females out there, I don't understand, bro. If it's that serious, why don't y'all just leave? Now, that's nasty. You got one dude in you. He come out. Then you got another dude in you. He come out. Like, that's, that's weak. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and you 30 years old, bro. You're supposed to get all this out in high school. 20 years old, 22 years old, 30 years old. This is how I feel. If you're 30 years old and you still cheating, bro, you ain't got no life. <laughs> how can you still be this old, you know what I'm saying, and you ain't put no... You ain't put nothing else like, put your time towards nothing else. Still doing the same shit you was doing in high school, bro. <laughs> hmm. I like y'all fools. Into an awaiting car. Mobile units begin pursuit of the anonymous automobile until it ultimately arrives at a Mexican restaurant. Yeah, told you Taco Tuesdays. <laughs> the male driver as he walks around to the passenger side and opens the door for Teresa. Look the two walk inside. You know they just start dating because once you've been hidden for a while, we ain't opening the door for the side piece at all. <laughs> Swear to God, they finna go to Taco Tuesday, get them some beers, some tacos, go back, and adiba, adiba. They about to go to the house, you know what I'm saying? Get that in. I enter seated at a booth. Sitting I'll next I'll, to I'll, one another, the suspect seems to nuzzle the neck of the mystery man while waiting for the chips and salsa. Eventually, the cool. meal ends, and they return to Teresa's apartment and walk inside arm in arm. Four hours pass before perimeter agents spot the suspect's chivalrous suitor leaving for the remainder of the evening. That's another thing, bro. You mean tell me y'all 30 years old? Are you not living with your girl, bro? Y'all not living together? If you're not living together at 30 years old, there's no reason you should be hiring cheaters, bro. It's a reason she don't want you at the house. And like your mama said, if you can't put two and two together, then this is your fault. Calling me, she with her friend, she not with her friend, bro. I'm pulling up, knocking on the... I mean, I ain't knocking on nothing. This is my girl spot. I got a key to it. If you ain't got no key, bro, y'all just playing. She don't take you serious. And you up here mad. She's supposed to have things in and out the house. Where are you at at this time of night? Don't say you was working, bro. <laughs> Yeah, if we grown, grown, and I ain't got the key to your shit, and you ain't got the key to my shit, you cheating, straight up, that's how I look at it, why you don't want me at your house whenever I want to be, I thought we was, <laughs> we, we passed just having sex, we really in a committed relationship, what the hell is going on around this bitch? Evening. Investigation day nine. Agents remain on watch outside the suspect's residence. Mm -hmm. A sense of deja vu creeps in as a week to the day from her previous excursion, Teresa leaves her apartment under the cover of night and hops dress. into the car of her affectionate friend. Through the rear window, agents spy the duo sharing a kiss before <coughs> darting off oh, yeah. to their next <coughs> destination. He pulls into the parking lot of a luxury hotel <coughs> Teresa and her man, now identified as Michael, soon reach the object of their excursion, which is an annoying. And the cold part about cheaters, bro. Michael probably cheating too. You know what I'm saying? And now, just because they watching Teresa, 
Michael finna get caught up with his girl. <laughs> That's why you shouldn't be there. It's the thing about life, especially since I started being a YouTuber. I noticed this, bro. You just can't tell who. You don't know who watching you. They out there following this fool with full-blown cameras, staking out. They said he went up in there, hit, came back. You know what I'm saying? Four hours later, they was still outside. Four hours later, the men, mysterious, whatever, the mystery man came out with his shot. Start shooting at the car, bro. That camera look like a gun, and I see you pointing it at me, shit. That's the fence I use in court. I don't Enormous holiday I display. They gaze at the structure and request the help of a passerby to take their picture. Mm -hmm. After approving the snapshot, the couple return to their car and arrive at a beach-themed bar, holding each other very tight as they enter. Thank you, love After girl. wedding their wishes, <laughs> Teresa and Michael emerge, swaying together, Man. and return to Teresa's apartment. At least she got a type Soon they after, boy, they disappear inside, really. the lights go out, leaving detectives to speculate about the interior activity. Mm -hmm. Like the day before, Michael leaves in the wee hours of the morning, leaving Teresa, presumably, to sleep alone. Yeah, bro cheating. Straight up. They both got side pieces, and they they both got side pieces, and they both know what's up. All right, you go ahead and get up out of here and get home to your... Ooh. Give me that woo. <sighs> <laughs> Dang, bro. And, and you know what's the crazy part? The dude that hired the cheaters to go catch this girl cheating. Even though you knowing it, you know how mad you got to see to watch this? If I caught my girl cheating, I promise y'all I would do my uh, a reaction to my own stuff. Like, go so where you find this episode? It's my life, bro. What you mean? <laughs> like, this happened to me. I need all the footage from this episode, even the behind the scenes, because I'm finna... Hey, hey, I took a loss. At least let, let me get some bread off this. You know what I'm saying? This this fool to react to his own. Yep. Now, every time y'all see her bash her, I don't care. Right. Investigation day I'm 16. Done. Teresa's weekly... But that had never happened because I never hired cheaters to go check. Again, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. idling auto. Mobile units stick close behind the couple. What the hell? Who video am I watching? Out of the way burger joint. Who's Jimmy? They take a seat in the back, giving inspectors a clear vantage point through the window. The couple hold hands and steal a quick kiss while waiting for their food to arrive. Yeah, he love your girl. He just be kissing on her with, with side pieces. We ain't never kissing, bro. That's just out. But once you kissing on them and all that type, of shit, this is deeper than I thought it was. <laughs> Oh boy, she gonna find out the cameras. He hired cheaters, and she ain't even gonna care. It's gonna be like a relief for her. Like, <sighs> good. You can stay all night now if you want to. Now I, I done got caught. I just don't want to break his heart. You know what I'm saying? But shit. Now, you, we, we we caught. It's gonna be such a relief for her, bro. She ain't even gonna care. Drive. After their late night feast, Michael leads his lady by the hand around the square. While Teresa kiss, enjoys her flight of fancy, it's Sherwood who's waiting to take off in this recorded phone call. Hello? JP. What's up with it? What you got going on today, you all right? Um, I got girls night out tonight. <laughs> y'all be lying, bro. She, I got girls. Oh, my. That is crazy. Bro, that is so crazy to me. You know what I'm saying? And just like she, how she would do right now, or buddy, buddy, hugged up, going out. The crazy part is, she was with the other dude like that when they first got together. Thought Risa is something else, bro. If she get into a relationship with him, she going to do him just like she did the other one. You know what I'm saying? You get him how you lose him, or you lose him how you get him, however that going. She is the perfect... <laughs> What bust down thought the bust down Theresa. Hey. With your weak ass lace front. Your shit look like oh, I can't even tell because it's all green, but I can see how bad it is. We'll make it. We'll make it. I ain't playing nothing last time. I ain't playing nothing last time. We gon' kick it, alright? I promise you, we gon' kick it, okay? I heard what you said. You know I ain't no fool, right? Alright. I know you ain't. Okay. I heard you. Alright, hit me up. With no further know you ain't. from inside the apartment, agents call it a day. They return to headquarters and begin processing the evidence for Sherwood's evaluation. 
Coming up, the confrontation. The confrontation. Let me see this. There's alerts Sherwood to the depth of her trickery. With a poised her demeanor, <laughs> Sherwood stays strong <coughs> in the face of her deceit. <coughs> You asked us to find out some information about what might be taking place behind your back and about... Before they do this, I just make sure Sherwood ain't got a gun on him because bro look like he will flip out once he already know what he thought and it might not be too safe for them because he looking at the dude that's talking to him like, bro, this is your fault and he ain't even do nothing. You called him. You know, look, look, look at the look he giving it for. Like, bro, when we talk about my girl like that, Hey, that's your girl. No, that's our girl. Like, she, she for the streets with the K. Stop, Teresa, bro. How yeah. honest Teresa was being with you as far as your relationship was concerned. And we have some of that information to show you tonight. If All you're, right. Are you All ready right. to look at it? Yeah, I ain't tripping. Go ahead. Listen, yeah, mine as well. Came this far. It's cold, man. I ain't tripping. <laughs> Right, throw that in there, uh, we had detectives outside cold, of Teresa's bro. apartment on this particular evening. Yeah. Teresa exits, gets in the car. From there, they go to the hotel. Motel. Yeah. Uh, right on, right on, right on. They take in some of the accoutrement of the holiday. Uh. She kisses him underneath the large ornaments mm -hmm. uh, and from there they take the when you hear all these uh, mm. <sighs> that's called a boiling point bro ready to snap but these cameras in his face you got to maintain your composure but I wish it was the way we look in it like looking inside his body right now because he is flipping out bro Right at that point, y'all ain't got to show him no more. He don't need the rest. He ready to leave and go pull up on her right now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Thought recent, bro. Their party. Thought recent. To a bar. She told him she didn't like going now, bro. <laughs> See, that's what I be talking about, man. After a few drinks, they go back to the apartment. But she don't drink that much. <laughs> I did as fuck. We see an interior light turn off. What the is it? And later on that evening, the gentleman exits. Sherwood, on this day, we again observe Teresa as she left the apartment. Same gentleman pulls up, she gets inside, and from there they travel to a cafe where they share a romantic snack. And another and then kiss. Stroll through the neighborhood. Right on, peeping that, peep that, peep that. Get back mm -hmm. in the vehicle. Now See how he keep replaying them words, the bro? He is hot. Mm -hmm. They're holding hands as they go in. He thinking how he can off her right now. That's why he can't say nothing. It's hard to think and talk at the same time. You know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. He just probably... <laughs> She told me she don't even drink like that. What type of female you know that don't like to go out and you bought that? I don't, I, I it, it, man, bro. Everybody wanna catch their significant other cheating or in the act if they actually they like think they doing so. But at the same time, I don't think None of y'all want to actually catch it. Imagine walking in a room and they both naked getting it in and you just walk in like, damn. Like, that'll break you off in pieces. A text message, seeing that they done did it, it's way different than walking in a room and see them actually doing it in real life. You gonna do it. It does, for real, bro. These videos is eating them up. We can see the light turn off. And it remains so. Philip, I knew it, man. That's what I be talking about, man. I knew it, dog. Mm. I knew it. Mm. I knew it, man. I understand. And I know why you're here. But we contacted you on this evening for a particular reason. 
We about to catch him up in the Every act, night bro. that you've seen on our surveillance yeah. has been a Thursday evening. Mm-hmm. What night is tonight? Yeah, it's Thursday, player. It's Thursday. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to call the detective, and we'll see if Teresa's being honest with you this time. Yeah. Excuse me one second. Hey. Yeah, we just wrapped up the second. Bro, you got to okay. be. You got to be. We'll just get in the van and be on standby. She never expected her dude Sounds to go good. this far to hire no. cheaters to catch her cheat. Thought Reese ain't never There's nothing going on right now. I promise you. But, but what he said is just it happens, in advance, so. be on standby, <laughs> yeah. and then he'll call us Eat as soon that. as he has anything. All right? Right on, right on. Come on with me, Sherwood. Right on, right on. This fool's so late. Right on, right on. Gomez right now. Gomez. What's happening? He picked her up. <laughs> if drama was a person. <laughs> I swear to God, that this dude right here, he'd be in the most... Drum, I don't care who y'all know. This watch when he pull up on, he gonna be like, "So why did you bust it open for him?" Just let us know that one though. This dude be going in in. I, <laughs> if making y'all break up was a person, <laughs> again, and that's where they went. Backyard beach bar. <laughs> Got it. Hey, look, I'm gonna go ahead and end it right here, bro. Dang, hey, Ghost, why you do that summer or summer? Oh, well, I got something to do. Shit. And that be happening sometimes. So, therefore, I'm going to leave it back off at this one. And I guess do a Cheaters Part 2. Other than that, y'all stay out the way, man. Rest in peace, King Nipsey. DJ Ghost, one, huh?